What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about conversion functions, and specifically we're going to talk about the XML conversion function. So, what is the XML conversion function? The XML conversion function is a function that allows you to convert a JSON object into XML code. So, what does that, does that mean? Well, we can pass in uh, a piece of JSON, maybe a call from an API, uh, maybe you're, you know a web request sort of thing, um, and we can convert that to XML, meaning that we can then either output that as XML or do something XML based to um, to you know trigger something else or do something else. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate. I'm in a manual trigger flow, so I've got my manual trigger up here, and then I've got a compose action here. I actually have two compose actions, but we're just going to use the first one for now. So if I click into compose and go over to expression, uh, I'm going to go down to conversion functions, and this one here, XML conversion function. So it says converts the input to XML type value. It's a little bit misleading. It actually converts JSON into XML. It just doesn't convert anything into XML. The reason for this is that it needs to have some sort of a format so that it knows the XML tags to put around and then the value to put inside the XML. And that's why it actually requires JSON. Um, so if I click this here, we can see it comes into the expression editor here. Now I actually have a piece of JSON, which I'm just going to copy into Notepad just for you to see. Um, and put in that one. So this is a function that converts this string here into JSON. So JSON is another uh, conversion function. And inside of this, we're just putting this piece of JSON. Now, what this is actually doing is this is putting um, two bits in. So first off, we've got people. Now, people is going to be the root um, root node for the um, for the XML, and then we have two values. We have full name, which is Matt Collins Jones, which is me, and then we have middle, as in my middle initial, which is A. Um, so what this will do is this will create a XML piece of code um, that will output. Um, a people um, node, and inside the people node, we'll have two tags one for full name and one for middle. Um, so we're just going to put that into um, the, the tags here. So let's go back to Power Automate. Now, in the XML tags, I'm going to put this um, and just copy and paste that, uh, that JSON in there. Uh, and that's all it is. So that JSON is just converting that string that I've got inside those brackets into a piece of JSON and then the XML is going to convert that JSON into XML. Let's look OK, and it goes in there, OK. So we're going to click Test. We'll say, I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. Let's run the flow. It's asking for an input. We don't need to put give it one. Click OK. The flow runs successfully. And we've got this. So I'm just going to copy this out of here. I'm going to copy this back into Notepad to make it easier to read. So underneath here, we'll put this in. Now this is this is XML, so this is a couple of tags. So we just want to space and indent this a little bit to make it easier to read for you. Um, and then we'll do that. And we'll do that. So this is XML that you would that you know and love. Um, I love XML myself. Uh, I think it's a very um, a very neat, a very programmatic language that is very easy to understand. So we have a people tag here, and then inside this people tag. Um, we have uh, full name, uh, which is Matt Collins Jones, inside the full name tag, and the middle uh, initial here inside the middle tag. So each value that you're putting uh, in this part of the JSON, this converts that into a tag, and then after you put the uh, colon in, that converts whatever's after that into the value um, inside that tag, and then you comma separate them to make more tags inside that. Now. <coughs> You may you may have noticed that I've got this people tag, but what if you don't want this people tag, um, like you know this 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 root tag? Well, one of the restrictions here is that it needs to have a root tag so it knows um, like the format of it. So you can have as many values as you want, but you can only have a single root um, root XML node. So um, if I were to just um, 
just put in a uh, full name, for instance, um, it would just come back with a single tag and I couldn't put in the middle tag after that. It would just have that um, first tag here and that would be all it outputs. But by adding in this root tag here, so you can see we open the, the brace here and we close the brace at the end, it actually means that everything inside this brace is inside this people tag and you can kind of see again with the colon we are then separating this into other data. So it's a little bit complex to get your head around, um, especially the formatting for this. Uh, I read the documentation on uh, the um, Logic Apps um, Microsoft Docs site and it talks about using uh, backslashes in ways to um, break um, in between the, the quotation marks. However, the examples that they give you on the documentation site are wrong, and if you use them, your flow will just error. So uh, I'm going to try and uh, update the documentation on the Logic Apps site so that accurately reflects how you use this. Um, but this hopefully should give you an idea as to how to use this here. So I hope that was useful. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, as always, if you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. Uh, and if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.